This recipe is thought to be one of the oldest dishes in the world. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be showing you how to make the classic Middle Eastern dip, hummus. So here's what you'll need for your homemade hummus. One cup of dried chickpeas, which are also known as garbanzo beans, half a cup of tahini, the juice from one lemon, one to two garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of cumin, one tablespoon plus an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, and salt. First, rinse your chickpeas until the water is clean. If you want to skip these steps, you can use canned chickpeas. Add the chickpeas and one tablespoon of the baking soda to clean water and leave them to soak overnight. Now that they've soaked overnight, wash them and leave them to soak in clean water for another few hours. Now that they've soaked for the second time, thoroughly wash them again and place them in a large pot. Now cover the peas with water and add the remaining baking soda. Cook the chickpeas until you can smash them easily, which should take about an hour to an hour and a half. While they're cooking, you should remove any foam that accumulates on top of the water. Once cooked, strain the chickpeas and set aside the cooking water. Put the chickpeas in the food processor or blender and process. Let this chill in the fridge for a bit before continuing. Add the tahini and the rest of the ingredients to the chilled and blended chickpeas and blend again until you reach the desired texture. If you find your hummus is too thick in texture, you can add some of the cooking water you set aside earlier. There are many different ways to serve hummus, although you normally see it paired with a flatbread such as pita. Drizzle your dip with olive oil and dig in. 